project which uh, gathers the most important uh, institutions for solar research, for ground-based solar research. There are institutions from 17 European countries and we are developing this facility to accommodate the needs and the expertise of the future, the present and the future solar physics research community. We have been working in the past to, uh, together to design this facility and now we are concentrating here in the meeting that we are uh, having here all the, the community to discuss the most recent advances, uh, advances in, in progress in, in solar physics to define the final requirements, the final scientific requirements to that consolidate the uh, technical the, uh, performance of the, of, the, of the telescope. The telescope will be built in the Canary Islands in one of the two observatories. We will decide the final site uh, in, uh, by the end of the next year, in 2019, and the operations are thought or expected to start in 2017 approximately. We have all this time to discuss with uh, not only with the scientific community but also with the national authorities what it will be the contribution of the different countries and uh, uh, the uh, uh, in engagement of all of them into the, uh, uh, into the project. We are here during these days because we are uh, participating to a meeting a meeting uh, which um, includes uh, some work for the document which is uh, the document which will describe uh, what are the main uh, um, problems that uh, we will uh, try to solve uh, in solar physics. So this document is called the Science and Requirement Document and uh, it is uh, including uh, some uh, aspects uh, which concern the European Solar Telescope. So, Several scientists came from all over Europe in order to discuss some technical aspects of the telescope and some scientific aspects of the document. I'm one of the scientists uh, um, contributing to the European Solar Telescope. This is um, an European project aimed at uh, designing, building and operating a 4-meter uh, solar telescope, which will um, represent a major uh, step forward in our understanding of, uh, the, of the Sun. The telescope will be um, optimized uh, for the study of the uh, solar atmosphere, all layers of the solar atmosphere, including the relations between uh, the different layers, uh, the dynamic processes taking place there, uh, uh, how magnetic fields appear on the solar surface, interact uh, um, between them and interact with convection, and how they drive uh, explosive events on, on the solar surface, which are important also for the Earth because um, when magnetic energy is released uh, on the solar uh, atmosphere, part of uh, the energy can go to, into space and uh, arrive uh, in, at the Earth uh, after some days. So this has important consequences for, for life on Earth. task is to, or my main science goal is to understand sunspots that are on the solar surface and uh, in this project here that is about the EST, with this project we want to study also sunspots, there's a lot of other um, things that we want to do with um, EST and uh, what the task of this meeting here is to define and to prioritize and to focus on what science we want to do with the telescope. There's a lot of science, it's very diverse and uh, now we have to focus what exactly we want to do 
and we have started to collect all the scientific ideas that are in the community and uh, we have um, written this up in a document like this and um, here we, for example, we describe the scientific ideas and we describe the observing programs that should be done with that telescope and the goal of this meeting then is to, to take together all the ideas and to come up with a final idea to define the science that we want to do with this telescope. And based on the science, we will define the re technical requirements that then will enter the final design phase of the telescope.